This video is sponsored by Truco Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, July 4th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Happy 4th of July. Ladies and gentlemen, Hurricane Barrel has passed over Jamaica and seems to be headed a little bit further north than expected. It's currently headed west-northwest at 18 miles an hour. It has dissipated a bit with 110 mile per hour sustained winds and a minimum central pressure of 974 millibars. But I did think it would take a more southerly path than we're seeing. If it does not go over the Yucatan Peninsula, it could hit one of the U.S. Gulf Coast states, and that would include Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, or Florida, just depending on where the storm goes. Now, taking a look at enhanced satellite of barrel here, it has cleared Jamaica, but Jamaica has Invest 96L right behind it. Still a tropical low, but it's going to cause big problems because of all the destruction in Jamaica. We do have a few videos and pictures of some of that destruction coming up. Now, the storm did dissipate down quite a bit here after passing over the island of Jamaica. I would think as it gets into warmer waters, it would actually intensify once again. It looks like it's trying to make it right through the hole between the Yucatan Peninsula and Cuba. And if it does, well, all the degradation that we counted on may not occur. And this may strengthen into a much stronger hurricane than predicted when it makes landfall. These are the spaghetti models that were updated about 30 minutes ago. They still have it going over the Yucatan Peninsula. Most of the models now have it going into South Texas. A few of the models have it going much further north into the Houston area. While we still have models taking it into Mexico. This is the National Hurricane Center's track, official track. And this was actually put out at 2 p.m. today. So it's an hour and a half old. It still has it going into South Texas, Mexico area as a Category 1 hurricane. And that looks like it would be Sunday morning. Here we have the last two hours of enhanced satellite for Invest 96L or 96 low. And it does look to be forming and getting much stronger over the last two hours. This could very easily be the next named cyclone. It will be following barrel in the general same path. And it doesn't look like it is, well, breaking up at all. It looks to be intensifying over just the last two hours. And I would say that's some intensification in a two hour period. Let's watch that real quickly. Again, probably the next name cyclone for the 2024 hurricane season. I never remember a season starting off this active. These are the few spaghetti models out for Invest 96L and they haven't generally gone in the same path as Barrel did which could be bad for Jamaica because it is torn up. Also going over the Yucatan Peninsula and the Cancun area. And they have it going into South Texas and Mexico. Very few models have actually uh, been put up, but we'll get more models probably this evening after see the intensification of that storm just now. Heading over to windy.com, well, these are the two storms here. This is Invest 96L, 
just south of the Dominican Republic in Haiti. And it doesn't look like much now, but again, we just saw the intensification over the last two hours. And this is barrel. Looks like it's trying to head right for that hole between the Yucatan Peninsula and Cuba. But let's use Wendy's AI and see where it heads. So is this evening, it does look like it's going to hit the Yucatan Peninsula. It's going to really degrade the hurricane, or should, going over land. And it should intensify as it gets back into the warmer waters. This is Saturday morning here. And we can see that they have Invest 96L pretty much deteriorating but it just doesn't look like that's going to happen on the infrared satellite at my fox hurricane see where this goes in it's supposed to hit sunday morning it definitely intensifies we can see it light up again i don't know why it would turn into a tropical storm they have it making landfall currently as category one i would guesstimate it would make landfall as a much stronger storm this is right about well this is sunday evening and they have it making landfall really in mexico and the very southern part of texas and this is going to be again sunday evening sunday evening not sunday morning as the national hurricane center predicts now invest 96l looks like it breaks up but again, this is AI from Wendy. We just saw the intensification of it over on infrared radar on my Fox Hurricane. Now, these are all pictures of Jamaica here. And, ladies and gentlemen, you actually have a bunch of farm animals and dogs uh, out here on this, uh, well, island of rubble very very dangerous situation as you can see here we have treasure beach that they say face the brunt of the hurricane we're going to play this with a little noise excuse me if it's too loud <laughs> Obviously a very well built house. Excuse his friend. So, ladies and gentlemen, he said he's never seen anything like this, and he's been through more than one hurricane like I have. This is a terrifying picture taken from Jamaica of the storm approaching. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Some more real-time footage. Not sure exactly where this is coming out of, but obviously they're on a canal of some sort. This is a photo coming out of Jamaica showing the mud that just covered everything. Obviously, there are mountains in Jamaica, and that mud, well, came down on top of the towns along with all the water from that hurricane. The locals have already started cleaning up. Uh, there's going to be a lot of cleanup to do, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that this used to be a wall of their home here. Unbelievable. You can see all of the debris everywhere. I guess a lot of the construction is sheet metal on the island. Another local taking a picture of what used to be his dwelling here. You can see that there was a house connected to this building here. And it is no longer with us. Period. Let's hope no one was harmed. This is a photo of Bull Bay, Jamaica, and all the debris 
on the actual beach. This is every beach I've seen in Jamaica. It is a catastrophe. Another photo coming out of Jamaica. It looks like they actually had an earthquake, but I'm sure there's another reason for this. Probably the water caused this. With all that said, we are inbound for either northern Mexico or some part of Texas at some point Sunday. Everyone needs to have a full tank, extra water, and food on hand that does not have to be cooked. And hey, flashlights and candles are always welcome as well. If you find yourself in an area where they think the hurricane's going to make landfall, well, I would evacuate, especially if it's a stronger Category 3, 4, or 5 hurricane. But that's up to you, as always. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.